My name is Morunga Khobe. I am from Tumbleville, Whiteville. I am 19 years of age and I'm currently doing first year Diploma of Entrepreneurship in Tuana University. So um, I matriculated last year from Mozart High School and I passed very well and I did my university applications quite early and on time but things didn't work out that way at some point. So I remember after my brother, because after some university took time to respond, others didn't take me because of eventually my, because I applied my grade 11 results and then my metric results weren't meeting the requirements, even though I passed well. So my brother put me in contact with his friend who introduced me to Sisnere from Etoli Mufundo. My first meeting with her was quite refreshing because she was, she was patient, she was friendly and she helped me with any questions because I had a lot. I was anxious and I was, you know, I was frustrated, but I had a lot of questions and she was patient the whole way through and she never gave up. Sis Mary started with me from the beginning until I even got to my school and never gave up. Even at moments when I was like, you know what, taking a gap year, I'll see university at some point. I think Tolim Funda Foundation more or restored my hope in furthering my education and studies because after my matric and I got my results, I was happy because I passed very well, I worked hard and then with our education system, it just put everything down because I was like, I passed well, I did my matric, I put in the work and I passed well but I didn't get a school, I, get, I didn't get funding and then Tolim Funda like held my hand throughout the whole way and they walked the journey with me in helping me further my studies and they restored my hope again in my future plans and every goal I had in terms of my education. So they really did help me see my dreams again and actually helped me see that I can achieve the dreams that I put in place for myself again. First of all, I think they have to put in the work, actually put in the work and apply on time and don't lose hope because with our education system, there will be times where you just like, I'm giving up, I'm going to leave everything, but actually, you know, follow up on your education and if you can, get into contact with people like Usis Mere and foundations like Tolim Fundo where they actually relieve your stress a bit because matric on its own is very stressful. So it's nice to have someone who's worried about one part of your education while you can focus on actually getting the marks you need to get into education. Uh, I'd actually like to thank the foundation for actually holding my hand and helping me throughout the whole process because at some point I lost hope and at some point it, it was a lot of work because it was days where you could have been with your family and you actually helped us apply when it was one of the hardest moments in your life after your dad's passing. It was a time where you could have been with your family, but you were with us every morning without fail. You'd wake up, you'd travel with us, and you'd go back home to your family. When it was times where it was moments where you needed to be with your family, but you didn't. You took away from your personal time to help us with your education. And we can't thank you enough because you sacrificed so much of yourself to help us. And I think our greatest appreciation or gift to you is actually doing work, the work and actually succeeding because you put so much work in actually getting us to, you know, further our dreams. So I think we can thank you by doing good and keeping up with our studies. So yeah, thank you so much.